Ishinomaki, Northeastern Japan, some American high school students arrived to do home stays. The dream of one young woman from their country, who perished here in March 2011, is now theirs to try to fulfill. The high school students are from Richmond, Virginia, the hometown of an American ALT named Taylor Anderson. Senna Chiba was one of Taylor's students. She later did a homestay in Richmond in 2012. Two of her host sisters are now here in Ishinomaki to do homestays themselves. <laughs> Taylor Anderson came to Japan in 2008 after graduating from college. She worked as an ALT at a number of schools in the Ishinomaki area. Taylor was teaching at Mangoku Ura Elementary School on March 11, 2011, the day that the earthquake and tsunami hit the area. She stayed in the schoolyard until all of the children had been picked up by their families and only then rode off on her bicycle to take refuge herself. Tragically, she was swept away by the tsunami before she could reach safety. Her family knew that it was Taylor's wish to become a bridge between her home country and Japan to keep the spirit of her dream alive. They established the Taylor Anderson Memorial Fund with the generous help of many people in America and Japan. The fund has so far donated a collection of books called Taylor Anderson Reading Corners to seven schools. The collections include picture books that Taylor was especially fond of. Corners. Taylor loved to read. Uh, she grew up reading all the time. And reading helped her define her dreams and what she wanted to do. And we hope that these reading corners can help you um, dream and, and uh, follow your dreams. More than 18,000 people died or went missing as a result of the earthquake and tsunami in the city of Ishinomaki, where Taylor Anderson was living. Around 3,500 people fell victim to the disaster. The areas hit by the earthquake and tsunami are recovering. In the summer of the same year, new electrical and telephone poles were put in. Due to the land subsidence caused by the earthquake, flooding has become a regular occurrence in Ishinomaki. A temporary seawall was built shortly after the disaster. Preparations have begun for building new homes in the area. August 2013, the third summer after the earthquake and tsunami. A little over three years after the disaster, construction of new public housing is proceeding apace. The Ishinomaki Kawabiraki Festival was held again in the summer of 2014. The American high school students have come to Ishinomaki under a program run jointly by the Taylor Anderson Fund and YMCA Tokyo. Today, they toured the area. The view from Hiyoriyama At the site of Kadonowaki Elementary School, we can still see marks left by the earthquake and tsunami if we go around to the back of the main building. This is the apartment building in Ishinomaki where Taylor lived. We visited Mangoku Ura Elementary School to see the Taylor Anderson Reading Corner. 
Taylor's friends are carrying on the activity she loved, reading English picture books aloud to children. <laughs> One American student says, Well, we had Senna stay with us two years ago, and it was really interesting to see the different cultures. So I was interested in seeing where Taylor came from and the different cultures, and it was really cool. Mihoko Terada at the Sendai office of the Taylor Anderson Memorial Fund has been collecting information in the disaster area. While working on our project, we want to do our utmost to help the residents to be positive-minded about the future. The American students took part in the Ishinomaki Kawabiraki Festival. The massive fireworks display expresses everyone's hopes for Ishinomaki's recovery. It is now up to the American students to fulfill Taylor's dream. <laughs>